Hello and welcome back to the Football Down. We're here today to talk about Kobe Mainu, of course, breaking into Manchester United's team this season. He's been an absolute sensation in midfield for Manchester United. A team that has, of course, struggled for good players in midfield over the last few years. He's a player that's stepped up and taken the opportunity really, really well. Of course, the 18-year-old who wears the number 37 shirt for Manchester United at the moment has been a breath of fresh air in Manchester United's midfield. And, of course, playing at the highest level in the Premier League, playing as well as he has done, Obviously, the conversation was going to take place sooner rather than later about his potential to play for England in the next few months. Of course, England have a Euro 2024 campaign in Germany, which will be led by Gareth Southgate, much to the displeasure of many England fans. But look, we have to look at it now and have the serious conversation. I don't think it's premature to be talking about it. Should Kobe Mainu be in England's squad over the next few months? Should he be in maybe the March squad and maybe potentially should he be in the Euro squad, you know, in the summer? I want to get people's thoughts on this. Do people think it's too premature to be talking about Kobe Mainu's minutes for England? Do you think he's got a good chance of being in the squad? Do people, you know, think he deserves that chance to be given a, you know, run out for England in the March squad, potentially for the Euro squad? Or do people think it's far too soon for a player at the age of 18 years old for Kobe Mainu to start playing for England? I want to get people's thoughts on it. But I've just got a few points that may go in Kobe Mainu's favour in regards to him potentially getting opportunities to play for England, certainly in the March squad, but potentially in the Euros as well. Okay, so Kobe Mainu, of course, has been allegedly approached by Ghana to represent them in the national team over the, next, over, over the last few days. Obviously, this has come about after a really good performance against Newport and then followed with that late winner against Wolves. Speculation is starting to take place. People are now talking about him and Ghana have allegedly, as I say, approached him to try and represent them in the national team. Now, he hasn't represented Ghana at any level of uh, in you know youth football uh, he's rep you know represented England on 13 occasions overall between un England's under 17s and England's under 19s so far and like I say has never represented Ghana I think it'd be a massive shame for England to miss out on another player to another country obviously Musiala stands out you know missed out on him to Germany uh, you know, a few years ago, I think that Kobe Mainu, look, he's, he's from Stockport. This is a player that wants to play for England, in my opinion. He's played for us, you know, as I say, 13 occasions, but, you know, at youth level so far combined. No association to Ghana previously in terms of football. So I think it'd be a massive shame for, Manchester, for England to miss out on this player. And I do think that England should try and move quick to make sure that he, you know, gets a chance in this England team, but also not just to cap him so he can't play for Ghana, but actually show him that there's a pathway there for this player to come through the England team. We've obviously seen Jude Bellingham, who, who is a you know good example of a player that in recent years has played it, you know, in the England squad at a young age, and we're going to talk about that in a you know in a short while. But as I say, Kobe Mainu, 18 years of age, it's not too young to play for England, and I certainly think he's got the you know potential to play at that level. And like I say, when I'm talking about maybe him going to the Euros or playing for England in the March squad, I'm not saying that he should start the games by the way I'm simply saying that maybe he could possibly you know slot into that team nicely especially given that some of the players that may be in his position are probably not deserving of chances in the you know in this England squad at the moment obviously we spoke about Jude Bellingham obviously being a younger you know another example of a young midfield player for England getting an opportunity to go to a Euro squad in 2020 or Euro 2020 which of course was played in the summer of 2021 due to COVID. Jude Bellingham went to that Euros tournament aged just 17. So Gareth Southgate did take Jude Bellingham at the age of 17. If he was to use that logic again, it, you know, with Kobe Mainu, by his logic in the past, he's never too young to take a midfielder who's showing promise. And Kobe Mainu is certainly showing promise in this Manchester United team at the moment. Now, of course, I suppose that the thing that may be in Southgate's favour uh, with that was that we had allowed a bigger squad back then. I think we were allowed 26 players. I think we're going back to 23 players available in this squad in the summer. But I'm not arguing that he should necessarily be picked in the Euro squad, but I'm simply suggesting that he's got a chance of getting that, you know, in that Euro squad. And I certainly think he deserves to be in that March squad uh, next month which, of course, may give Gareth Southgate a good opportunity, a good chance to look at him close up ahead of the Euro squad. And as I say, we've still got long to go in the season yet, and his performances, I'm sure, will only get better and better with more time in the team and more confidence growing from the good performances because he has hit some challenges early on in his time at Manchester United 
whilst he has performed well, pretty much coming straight into the team, it's not been some easy places where he's gone to. Some of his first appearances in a Manchester United shirt have come away against Everton, Goodison Park, away at Newcastle, St James's Park, and of course away against Liverpool at Anfield. So they're three tricky fixtures, uh, three you know very historic grounds to go to in your first few appearances as a Manchester United player. Playing in a position he does where you are going to be pressed on the ball quite a lot and I think he's been exceptional in them games and I think that that's the thing we're talking about character you know personality here and not just the ability but he has all them three things to match and that's why I think that he could be a good player for England in the future and I certainly think that Gareth Southgate should be looking at him in the future certainly for the March squad as well uh, now we spoke about the fact that some players may be in his position are undeserving of a chance in this England squad at the moment we're going to pick out two players and obviously one of them is going to be Calvin Phillips who of course was unbelievable in Euro 20, uh, 2020. Um, of course, got that move to Manchester, Manchester City. It's just not worked out for him. He's currently out on loan at West Ham, but of course, didn't start the game against Manchester United yesterday. I think he, you know, his time in England shirt, it's got to be, it's got to be limited at the moment. It's certainly a minute, so certainly wouldn't have him in the March squad, and I certainly wouldn't be thinking of picking him in the you know Euro squad at the moment. He's just not getting the minutes. He just doesn't seem up to it. He certainly seems very far away from the play he was at Leeds United. If you look at how many minutes he's had this season, 405 minutes in all competitions this season for Calvin Phillips. Kobe Mayne, who's had 916 senior minutes this season. So he's got almost double, well, over over double the amount of minutes for Calvin Phillips this season. And he's been exceptional in them minutes as well. Obviously, another player as well that may be in that position that I don't think should be considered for England anymore is Jordan Henderson, of course. Made the move to Saudi Arabia in the summer, then made the move to Ajax in January. It just doesn't seem like he's comfortable playing in Saudi Arabia, hence the move to Ajax, but also not playing at the level not you know that, that he used to, obviously Premier League level compared to the Dutch League. We we know that the quality isn't quite there in the Dutch League and we're seeing this with some of Eric Ten Hag's signings actually at Manchester United where they don't seem quite up to the level of the Premier League. Kobe Mayne who's playing minutes in the Premier League and playing very well, whereas Jordan Henderson's had a difficult time in Saudi Arabia and now he's made, made the move to Ajax where he is playing in a less competitive league. The age he's at as well, I can't see him getting any better as a player and therefore I think that potentially Kobe Mayne was ahead of these two players in the pecking order for England or certainly should be in that conversation. So I just want to get people's thoughts in the comments. Obviously, I think I've made a pretty good case as to why Kobe Mayne possibly should be ahead of these two players in particular and should, certainly should be in Gareth Southgate's thoughts ahead of the England squad in your uh, obviously in the summer for Euro 2024 20, uh, but certainly the, the the March squad which we have to look at as a step up away into that uh, Euro squad obviously most players who would be in the March squad would typically be in the manager's thinking come the summer so I want to get people's thoughts do you think that it's too early for Kobe Mainu do you think he is perhaps deserving uh, or more deserving of being selected for England than the two players I've just mentioned. Uh, I want to get everyone's thoughts on this. Kobe Mainu for England. I want to like, get your thoughts on it. Don't forget to put your all your opinions, comments, uh, of course, in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like the video as well. And of course, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.